welcome into Bon Appetit and to your health at the same time. Olive oil runs in my veins. I love olive oil. And today we have Ed Gannon here from the Vintage Olive, located at Pepper Tree Shopping Center. That's correct. Been in business for 11 years. If you think about just olive oil being put on a salad, boy, are you wrong. Olive oil can enhance the taste of everything. Ed, we were talking earlier about taking a turkey and infusing it with olive oil before it's baked. Mm -hmm. Cornish hens. That's right. You can make poultry, vinegars with it. Poultry tends to be dry. Yeah. True. Mm -hmm. So you've got to do something to give it life. Olive oil will do that. Mm -hmm. it's Olive oil. It's good in pork chops too. Yep. It's good in pork. Oh yeah, so, you, can, you can inject beef tenderloins, yeah. pork tenderloins. You know, and that's any, nice. Yep, whatever your imagination. Amen. Wants so listen, we've got here some raspberries, mm -hmm. and if you want to be the hit of a party sometime. This is kind of an interesting thing. Talk about what you do here, because I want to try one of those things. Last time we didn't get a chance. But. Yeah, it's a little fun dessert. We uh, just drop a raspberry in a cup, and you did. Uh, now, do you we, sell these little cups at the store? No, they're just no, our they're, tasting cups. Okay. They're, they're, actually, <laughs> they're actually communion cups. Okay, so. good. <laughs> but uh, we just put a little of the dark chocolate balsamic vinegar in the cavity dark, of that. Dark chocolate balsamic and vinegar. Just do it like a little shot. Okay, so I'm going to put this in. And now you said that you said that it may not come out. I may have to tap it, right? Yes, if, if, we, if we go to silence, Ed's going to do all the talking here. It'll be good. Sometimes they just stick in the little cups, but that's just one of the dark chocolate is really good on any wow. kind of fruits. Wow. Mm. Cheesecake mm. really good on cheesecake. Wow. That's a chocolate that's balsamic so vinegar. Good. It's twelve years dark chocolate. <clears throat> it's made with eighty percent. Cocoa, dark chocolate cocoa. Okay, so they do that when they're aging it. And that's correct. It, it, that, that's amazing. The other thing, dark chocolate cocoa is very good for you, by the mm -hmm. way. It is. Even this. Yeah. Now, would this be considered sweet? Is there sugar in this that makes it sweet? The only sugar, that's, well, the cocoa. We have a little sugar. It's not, but it's not I'm enough to even measure. Some. The only sugar in, our, in uh, most of our vinegars, all but one, is just a natural sugar from the grape musk. Mm -hmm. And we have a maple balsamic vinegar. It's got a few extra calories because it actually has Vermont maple syrup, just a dab of, to give it that you maple flavor. You said you put that on your oatmeal. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's delicious. <laughs> yeah, isn't that amazing? So there's so many different uses for olive oil. Plus the fact, like Ed said in our last show, if you want to try, if you, if, see, I'm a little salad lover. Right. But what makes the salad is the dressing that goes on the salad. And um, you could come on in and mix up a concoction mm -hmm. to get something the way they want it, right? That's right. With 30 olive oils and 30 balsamic vinegars, there's basically endless combinations. Because wow. you can mix vinegars just mm -hmm. like you can mix all. Like if you want garlic butter, just mix our butter olive oil with the garlic olive oil and you have butter, garlic butter. And amazing. So and you can there's, use that on bread. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Instead of, you know, get away from the things that are harmful. Mm -hmm. Another right. helpful hint. Yes. Tuscan yes. herbs is a good one. And we have some special oils like walnut and to toasted sesame seed. Like our hot cayenne oil to with the toasted sesame seed oil is delicious for like uh, Asian dishes. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite combinations. That's amazing. And we can, like I said, we can mix up the salad dressing in the store so you know exactly what you're And then doing. you do have recipes there too, don't you, Lots at the store? Of, yep. Lots website's of full of them. And we website, have, and then you can do it there. I noticed when I went on the website, there was like the, the taste of the month or mm -hmm. something like well, that. Well, we have probably 30 or so printed already behind the, the, some of the favorites. That, mm -hmm. Like the coffee barbecue rub salmon, we, we give out dozens a week. Wow. Because it's one of the favorite dishes people wow. come in and, isn't that amazing? So it, what, this, tell, all right, this, is this what goes on the salmon you're mm -hmm. talking about? We have about 35 or 40 different hand-blended seasonings. And um, the coffee barbecue rub is one of the favorites because it goes in a lot of things. Like I put this in, when I do a pot of chili, I'll put a pack of that in my chili. And people oh. just cannot figure out what the difference is. Mm -hmm. But uh, coffee barbecue rub, rub salmon is one of the favorites and that's what you put on the salmon. Just a little that sprinkle. That sounds interesting. Isn't that amazing? Okay. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. Yes. So the seasonings there. You have some pastas too, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, handmade pastas. They're okay. delicious. Probably, I think, six different kinds. And then we have uh, gluten-free pastas too. Thank God. Yeah. Got to have a, got to have a yeah. little bit of that. So, you, you, like you were saying, you can make different gifts for people. 
Or you already have some pre-made gift baskets? Yeah, we'll have a whole bunch of, uh, this is like a six-pack sampler. Oh, that's neat. And uh, we have recipe cards for each flavor in between I'll there. Be. We, yeah, neat. We can do this for you, or you can pick out what six you want. We'll and you put them, them in there. Mm -hmm. And we do 200, the little bit bigger bottles that way, or we do gift baskets. Uh, gift certificates are huge because uh, yeah. people can come in and pick out the ones they want. That's great. And that's a great way to do it. Mm -hmm. that, that makes it nice just the way that. it is. I love that. So you're located in the Pepper Tree Shopping Center, which is right off of Vaughn Road. Yes. You're open now, we're at the beginning of December, so you're probably going to be open until about 7 at night now. Mm, starting in December, we're starting 10 o'clock in the morning until about 7 o'clock at night, mm. Tuesday through Saturday. Correct. Sunday and Monday, you got to tend to the farm. <laughs> <laughs> like all the other days, yeah. yeah. Hey, Ed, Ed's mm -hmm. a farmer on the side, too, by the way, and does a lot of wonderful things in the community. Well, you tell Carly, we wish you guys have a very Merry Christmas and take care yeah. of yourselves. Well, and just thank, remember thanks this. for having us on. Well, you're very welcome. And remember, bon appetit means good eating. <laughs> good eating starts with the way you marinate. And we'll be right back right after this.